So now, progress shall resume on Rush to Max. Welcome, guys, to Rush to Max. It has been a while since I've uploaded a video. Actually, it was probably about a month ago whenever I went on vacation. But we're back on Rush to Max, and we'll be back on Rush to Max in a pretty regular way going forward. So welcome, guys. If you're new to Rush to Max, go check out the previous videos. But we are actually just working on this Town Hall 13 and upgrading stuff that is very rushed and just having fun with a silly account. Now, I do have an achievement I do want to... Um, claim i'm getting 100 free gems so that's always a good thing for looting 250,000 capital gold in raid attacks pretty amazing and i've actually got a lot of <laughs> a lot of raid medals too if you guys look i've got maxed out raid medals so i need to spend some medals so whatever i can do wow i don't have a lot of options i need to spend some magical items too some strategy needs to be put into place i'm imagining but you know what let me go ahead and buy some elixir because i can use it and dark elixir as well so that, <laughs> that gives me a, a little bit of room and I can either plan and spend some magical items today or prepare and do a next episode. I'll decide in the moment. Hopping over to the progress base, you guys can see that I've got a lot of things going on, including like little level seven cannons and stuff. So again, if you're new to the series, go check it out so you guys kind of get an idea of what's going on. But right now I'm wanting to upgrade heroes, which means I need at least 140,000 dark elixir. And I don't think, oh, oh, ho, ho, ho. I, I have loot in the treasury. Okay, this this video just turned around okay i've got more than enough loot to do whatever the heck i want to do oh right that makes me feel better okay so let's go get some more loot because that's what we do go do some raids i am still rocking the lunian i'm also bringing a baby dragon for the occasional moment that i need it uh and just simply having fun and again it's been so long since i've really played this account that i don't remember like you, you know how it is when you play clash of clans right you get used to an account, you get used to the strength of that account, and you know when you're searching for bases, what type of base you need to find, what strength level you can handle. I don't have that anymore on this account, so we'll just have to see. I'm going to find a base with lots of loot, and we're probably going to fail. <laughs> All right, so loot has been terrible. I found a base with a decent amount of loot, and what's funny is that most of the bases I found with decent loot are dead bases. This one's not dead. So we'll see how this goes. Um, I'm definitely going to be coming at this base from probably the Eagle side, although there's a sweeper on both sides, so it's kind of, kind of, kind of tricky. But like level 18 queen, I'm, I'm thinking we're going to do fine here. And I've got loads of heroes, uh, loads, loads of, um, well, I've got heroes. I've actually got heroes. So they're not upgrading, which is, you know, typically what happens on this type of series. So let's just see what happens. All right, I'm going to come in from the side. Let's go in with our minions as well. I've got a uh, stone slammer and there is the warden. Let's drop a whole bunch of hay spells. And then I'm also going to throw down a, you know, let's drop a rage into the middle. I'm going to quake the town hall, make sure things are going in the right direction. Haste that, haste that, and then rage over the top. And I should have popped the warden's ability. See, I've been playing um, Gold Pass Clash, and I'm still playing Gold Pass Clash. The reason why I'm taking a break today is because I've got nothing I can do. And I announced in yesterday's video that when that happens, I will simply film on another account now. Like, we're, we're at that point now in that series. So... Um, <laughs> I'm not used to having a warden, like Town Hall 10 does not have a warden, and I've been a Town Hall 10 on that account for a while, so anyway, it's so good to get back to the grind and back in the groove, it's super, super cool. So, okay, let's see if this baby dragon can take out a level uh, 2 royal champion. Wow, so the royal champion's actually um, a pretty competent warrior, <laughs> even at level 2, that was impressive. Alright, so the all the defenses are gone, if I pop this ability, let's use the king on a corner hut and the, the queen on the other corner hut and then everything will collapse together and i got a three star on whatever town hall that even was i didn't even look so uh so far so good and that was a lot of gold and the elixir right it was like eight hundred thousand, if i remember correctly yeah wow all right and i was not in a league i forgot about that that's a bummer gold league three dude this account has fallen so far all right it's time for us to get up a little higher and I've done some clan games. I don't think I'm going to make it to uh, 4,000 points, but I might as well, you know, earn points as I play. 11,000 Dark Elixir. Wow. Okay, I'm, I'm not used to this at all, as you guys have. It has it, 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 is it obvious at this point? So let's Baby Dragon this top corner. Um, I'm thinking I can do quite a bit because there's no air targeting defenses up here. And I'm also going to get one of the drills. I've got a drill in storage on this side, and then I've got a drill over here. So I'm thinking probably dropping the Lunian on the bottom left because that avoids the sweepers. And then probably using a hero to grab that drill there. This Baby Dragon has already successfully gotten the Dark Elixir out of that drill over there. So we're looking good. So let's drop uh, balloons just across just like so. 
All right, and I'm actually going to use my CC Stone Slammer because it is significantly better. And let's haste up everything. I've also got two poison spells, so I might as well use them. I accidentally didn't uh, recalibrate my army there. Let's drop a Earthquake spell, and then I'm ready with the Warden's ability this time. Right there. Okay. All right. So it's 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 come on, come on, guys, come on. All right, let's drop another Rage spell. This is ridiculous. Wow, that took a lot of effort. <laughs> that took so much effort to take out in Town Hall. That's crazy. All right, so King, Queen, and Royal Champion. I've also got a Poison spell still. What can I poison? I can poison the Queen. There you go. And I've used everything. So are we going to three-star this too? I mean, that would be like crazy. Also, I didn't know I had a Hound in the CC. I normally just bring Balloons in the CC. So that probably didn't help me much. Look at those minions taking out the queen under rage. That's what's up, dudes. I think we got this three star. I mean, as long as, like, watch. I'm going to pop the Royal Champion's ability and boom, boom, boom. Cannon goes down. She will take out the Inferno. And then bam, shabam, bam. That's going to be the three star. Um, Amazing. And I can't believe we just three starred that base. I, I'm amazed at the strength, the strength of this army on this base. Like, it's crazy. I, I'm pretty sure if you guys are watching the playlist, you're confused. I mean, well, you might not be confused. You, I've been keeping you guys well informed. But if you're watching the playlist and you've been watching these episodes back to back and there's like this huge gap of time in between episodes, then you're probably like, why is Klaus acting this way? It's because my brain was fully into Gold Pass Clash. Fully. And I completely forgot everything when it comes to Rush to Max, including what to upgrade, which is what we're about to deal with. So let's... Um, oh, I got another challenge. Excellent. Destroying clan castles. One clan castle for 200 points. That's pretty solid indeed. So, okay. <clears throat> Let's get this army going. Let's request for balloons this time. Thank you very much. All right. And um, now let's do some upgrades. Now I do have the laboratory, so I need to focus on that first. I'm thinking baby dragon, just because it's like the only thing that I'm doing that I'm actually using. I could also upgrade stone slammers. That'd probably be really good. But I want to upgrade the warden. Like that's kind of something I've been wanting to do. But I ah, but I just don't have a whole lot of elixir. How much is the warden upgrade again? Nine thousand. Oh wow, nine point eight million. I'm gonna upgrade the warden and do whatever I can in the lab. How about that? Let's just make that the priority. So level thirty one warden. I haven't looked up the max levels for this town hall level for heroes. I just know I haven't maxed them out yet, and I really want to. So nine point eight million elixir. Bam. Okay, and then Dark Elixir can go into, let's say, the King, because he is down one level. So six days, 140,000 Dark Elixir. Bam. Okay, so I don't have a whole lot of loot left. Can I afford anything? Like, anything worth affording? I guess I can upgrade the Lightning Spell. That gives me time to get a little bit more loot. So there you go. Lightning Spells are great. They're versatile. They're, they're awesome. So go ahead and upgrade that. It's only a one-day upgrade, too. So tomorrow, I may do another one. Am I going to, is this going to be another account that I maintain on a daily basis or only when I film? I have no idea. Oh yeah, I forgot. So check this out. The collectors and mines have all been maxed out. I did that off camera just in my spare time. So now I'm getting a ton of free loot. I'm actually getting uh, 44,000 per hour, which how much is that per day? Wow. That's over a million uh, gold and elixir per day. Like that's, that's pretty great. It's nice to have some free loot. That means these things need to be moved across the map, but my walls are all jacked up and stuff, so I'll have to do that later. So looking at everything I've got going on, by far the cheapest defense is the mortar. Like, why haven't I upgraded these mortars yet? So let's go ahead and begin that prop. They're level one. Level one mortar. Of course, mortar is basically worthless. But still, I need to upgrade the mortars, dang it. So let's go and upgrade three of these right now. One... To, but hold it before I do my third. Let's drop some gold into walls. Although this is going to be done in six hours. Wow. Could do this again later this evening, I guess. Um, but yeah, I need to drop the rest of my gold into my walls. So it's going to be six of those. That's 12 million gold. Very nice indeed. And now I can dump the rest right there. Perfect. Wait, did I? Oh, did I forget to collect the treasury? I did. Ah. Dang it. Oh, well, I'll collect it anyway. It's no big deal. It may not be as protected in there, but whatever. All right, guys. Well, um, yeah, I need, you know, what I need to do is go look at my ultimate defense guide because I know that's what I was following to know what to upgrade. I need to rearrange my progress base and get reacquainted with Rush to Max. So we're back, guys. I hope you're excited. Let me know your thoughts in the comments of what we should prioritize. Maybe shift the strategy a bit since this is a whole new era in Rush to Max. 
And uh, yeah, we're working on it. Also, if you know by heart the, the hero levels that are maxed at this Town Hall level, which is Town Hall 13, then let me know in the comments as well, because I have no idea. Thank you for tuning in. Like the video, subscribe. Most of you aren't subscribed, so hit that subscribe button. This is a challenge, okay? And also, don't forget to use code Klaus if you decide to buy the Gold Pass. That's not far from today. In fact, it's uh, four days away. So if you guys decide to do that, go into your shop, hit the little white C at the top right-hand side of your screen, and put in code Klaus or anybody's code anybody's code it's a huge blessing when you do this send code and bam green check mark means you are good to go thanks for tuning in and i will see you all next time it feels so good to be back on this account